For college-age students, the Russian invasion of Ukraine is their first experience with the threat of an international conflict. WBRE 28, WIRU 22, Eyewitness News reporter Sydney Costas talked to ESU students today about that news, and she joins us now live tonight with more. Sydney. Good evening, Nick and Candace. Students here at East Stroudsburg University tell me when they woke up and checked social media this morning, they were shocked when watching what was happening overseas. I was on social media. I was like, yo, this is crazy. I think we're seeing, I think we're seeing a missile. Scrolling through social media, thousands of videos showing Russia's attack on Ukraine flooded multiple platforms. I did see it on social media. I saw it on TikTok and I also saw it on Instagram. Thursday, Russia launched a full-scale invasion of Ukraine sending troops, tanks, and airstrikes on cities and military bases. Professor Johan Eliasson teaches political science at ESU and says the conflict between Ukraine and Russia has taken place for decades. The pinnacle of the first step in sort of restoring Russia's pride, Russia's place in the world, Russia's respect. ESU students we spoke to say they saw the destruction on social media. I've seen it on social media and it's very sad. I support the military a lot and I just hope that these families, if we do get involved, our country gets involved, we come back safely. Watching the attack unfold, those wonder what kind of impacts the United States will face. Honestly, I don't know what's going to happen, like either here, how it's going to affect everything here, but obviously there it's kind of sad to hear what's going on. I just hope there's like nothing major. I hope we can just find a diplomatic solution to get out of it. Professor Eliason says Americans need to know when it comes to oil and gas, it's a global commodity. If some shortage or fear of shortage occurs somewhere, prices are going to go up everywhere. And that's, that's what we're going to see, number one. President Biden held a press conference today authorizing additional sanctions against Russia. The president also said he'll be doing everything he can to weaken the impact of lowering of excuse me, rising gas prices. Nick, Candace. It's interesting to get the college students reaction on that one. Carrie, thank you very much, Sydney. Now